So you need to rig your character now. Not a problem. Shift A, armature, go to edit mode and place it around the pelvis. Go to context and under viewport display, check in front to see the bones through the object. Press E to extrude a bone for the waist and E again for the rib cage. Press E and middle click to make a straight bone for the neck and Alt P to disconnect it to the right position. And E again for the head. Click the bottom of the pelvis, E and middle click straight down. Alt P to disconnect and drag it where the hip should be. Press E for the shin, E for the foot and one more time for the toe. Also, don't forget to make sure that the hip is parented to the pelvis. Click the top of the rib cage, E, and middle click straight out. Alt P to disconnect, R to rotate and move it to the shoulder. E for the bicep, again for the forearm, and again for the hand. Now for the fingers, E to extrude, and Alt P to disconnect. From here, make sure all the fingers start in the right place, drag them out to the ends, and make sure they're centered with each finger. Then select them, right click, subdivide, and go over here and set it to two. Then change global to normal, and adjust the links so that they match the joints. Awesome. Now the last step is to name everything. The way I do it is spine one, two, and three, neck, head, hip, shin, foot, toe, shoulder, bicep, forearm, hand, pinky one, two, and three, index one, two, and three, middle one, two, and three, pointer one, two, and three, and thumb one, two, and three. Then to make sure that Blended knows if this is the left or right side of the body, select all the leg and hand bones, right click, Name, auto name left to right. Then right click, symmetrize, you're done. Hope that helps. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.